Squad Squad, it's your girl Chloe Yasmin back in the cup with another video and in today's video your girl is going to be doing another vlog because I have been enjoying doing them. You feel me sis? I love these dang videos. I have a mask on right now for no reason. Well actually it does have a reason. I do have a reason. It's because when you sleep all your moisturizer comes off and like the bottom half of your face just looks dry and crusty and so I just I'm not trying to look like that right now. Anyway, I literally just got up. I just brushed my teeth. Brushed my mouth because you can't be having that stink breath. And I just hopped in the car and I'm about to go to, not Starbucks. I'm not going to Starbucks today because the lines are crazy. And with winter shopping, I mean with Christmas shopping, people are out and about. So I'm going to Big B. I'm going to Big B. I'm going to Big B. I, I always be like this. I'm not going to change my speed. I'm not going to go over the speed limit because you want to go ahead and race up on me, baby. I ain't doing it. Go around, go around, go around. That's it. That's all you got to do. That's all you gotta do, baby. I ain't getting no ticket because of you. Anyway, I wanna go ahead and try one of their lattes this morning. I wanna go ahead and try one of their lattes. Anyway, okay, so I already started off this video, but, but, my camera was tripping. Not tripping, but it, it just moved angles and I like this angle better, so, yeah. Anyway, basically today your girl's about to be making some natural deodorant. Ever since my recent vlog where I was waxing my, my underarms and my underarm, my underarm got sensitive. You better slow your roll because I'm about to turn, baby. I'm about to turn right here. Quick turn. Boom, 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 boom. Ever since my armpit got irritated that one time, I had stopped wearing deodorant. And then I started like learning about like people that don't wear deodorant and like wear natural deodorant. And so I want to go ahead and make some natural deodorant. And I want to see how it's going to work for me. So I have all of the materials. Oh my gosh. Why is it packed? It's about to get mad. I'll be right back, y'all. I got to go get a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a. Uh. I'm going to try a butterbeer latte today from Big B. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, y'all, so I am now out of Big B. And this drink, I just like take a little sip of it. It's not as sweet as I like my drinks to be. Like, it has to be very sweet. So I have like a little bit of Starbucks creamer left at the house. I might just go ahead and put it in there. Um, but I have to get my nails done today. So I popped this one nail off because it was just really bothering me because of the shape. My fault. Well, actually her fault too. She didn't shape my nail how I like them to be shaped. It was just bothering me. The nail shape was just ugly. Because I tried to fix it and made it even worse. So anyway, basically, yeah, I got to get my nails done today. But today's also Saturday, so I have church tonight. Oh, they have a nail salon right there? No, I got a girl that does my nails very, very well. But I had stopped going to her for like my last two times because she got sick the day that I needed my nails to be done. I needed them to be done that day. So I went and tried another nail salon. Fire. My nails were popping. If y'all see my day in the life, love the shape. But a guy did it. I went back to that nail salon for my nails this time. Y'all probably can't really see them. But they're cute, like the designs and everything, but the shape was just not my shape. So I gotta go back to my girl today and get my nails done. Whole new set, I'ma get all of these taken off cause the lady messed my shape up and you cannot fix this dang shape. So basically right now I'm about to head home. I'm about to go ahead and make some deodorant. Then I'm about to have y'all get ready with me because your girl gotta get ready for you service. The streets are so bare right now. The streets are so bare, I'm so surprised because yesterday, and today is Saturday. Yesterday it was like sickly, like so many people, but it's also still 9.30 in the morning. But still, it's Christmas shopping time. I don't really like this latte. It needs to be more sweet. I need some more sweetness. This boy running outside with a t-shirt on and some gloves. You better go, man, you better go. I need to get like you, but I sure ain't gonna do it. Look at you, you being rude to me and I like your truck. It's nice. And you just trying to get in front of me. Can't deal, folks. Oh, don't be speeding up on me. Let me tell y'all something. I ain't got time for these crazy drivers out here. I ain't got time for them. They are not worth a ticket. Yeah. I just be talking to myself all day and day, all day and day, all day and day because I don't trust folks. So yeah. It's so windy outside. Y'all hear that? Like it's so loud. Hey, yo, your headlight is dead. Mm-hmm racing in front of me we end up at the same spot and you're turning in the wrong lane there you go you raced in front of me dude and we ended up at the same exact spot bro look at me look at me we at the same spot we at the same spot who was all that for love y'all should have seen me watching a movie the other day i was getting so upset i don't watch certain movies i don't watch certain shows i just do, oh my gosh the po -po, the po -po, the po -po. so i was watching a movie the other day and I was getting so upset because it was so stupid my boy this is life or death and you sitting up trying to kiss Beth what's going on and I had to keep fast forwarding I can't stand watching that romantic junk make me sick anyway I was getting so mad I'm like yo y'all about to die and y'all sitting up worried about romantic stickers I'm like this movie is stupid but I already had got into it and I'm like I need to know if you gonna die or not I need to know 
didn't end up dying, but the movie was just stupid. I was so upset. My brothers were outside of my room cracking up and I didn't even know it till I paused the movie. They're out there laughing at me because I'm getting mad at this stupid movie. Taylor Lautner. Oh, he got on my dang nerves. I can't. All the stupid movies that boy plays in. He just be all the, all the, all the girls. That's why I don't watch that stupid junk. That's why I don't watch movies. People don't catch me watching movies because movies are so nasty nowadays. It's so perverse. At least it didn't get to that point. Well, I wouldn't know. I fast forward that junk. I can't watch that junk. Nope, not my eyes. What, I'm, what, what is the point of sitting up watching somebody kiss for? I want to know. What's the point? Why you want to sit up there and watch that junk? Look, I be getting disgusted. Well, dang! My battery's about to die, boy. Oh my gosh. And we could have crashed. And we could have crashed. And we could have crashed. Because you didn't stop at the stop sign. You didn't stop at the stop sign. You just kept going. Didn't even know if it was a car coming. Wow. How smart. How smart. We could have literally crashed. If I'd have been any closer, baby, I'd have called the popos. Go zoom zoom. Go beep beep. People get on my nerves. I swear to gosh. He just got on my nerves, dude. We could have crashed because he don't want to look at the stop sign. They just keep going. They just turn when there's a stop sign. My boy is there for a reason. It's cars coming out here. It's traffic, my boy. Your girl's back home and I'm about to make this deodorant. So, basically, I got the little recipe or whatever, but I'm going to make it a little bit. Okay, hold on because I got these one containers that I bought from Target yesterday. Uh sorry about that okay so i bought these containers yesterday from target they're really cute and they're glass or whatever and i'm gonna go ahead and put the deodorant in there so i just want to go ahead and see how this deodorant how this deodorant is gonna work i'm not expecting like today when i wear i'm not expecting it to like control all of my bo because i am like kind of detoxing from like all the other deodorants or whatever but i'm about to go ahead and set y'all up and we're gonna go ahead and make this so basically everything is gonna be a half a cup so i have a half a cup of coconut oil basically a lot of people use cornstarch but i'm not using cornstarch because um they say there's a lot of people saying that it burnt their underarms or they got really irritated so um to replace that i have arrowroot powder um i was watching a lady on there and she said arrowroot powder works really good for her and so it calls for arrowroot powder coconut oil since it has antibacterial um, um, properties and then also baking soda <laughs> baking soda i got baking soda <laughs> um and then you're also if you want it to smell like something you can get an essential oil and i have this frankincense uh essential oil i smelled all the essential oils that my mom had which is a lot and i'm gonna go ahead and do that but i'm gonna go ahead and put this coconut oil in here and then melt it all right okay now before i put the deodorant in this container i do want to go ahead and like disinfect it with some alcohol so that's what i'm gonna also do beautiful you are so beautiful to me <laughs> what why am i like this why it's melted so i have the half cup of baking soda in here i'm gonna go ahead and pour the coconut oil in there and um i'm just gonna go ahead and mix that together real quick honestly i'm probably doing this wrong but it'll all come out good I got this off of Amazon, y'all. It was like $10. Ooh, it's getting everywhere. But yeah, it's just the replacement for cornstarch. So if you do have cornstarch in your house, um, you can go ahead and try that. Um, but I just wanted to be safe because I just don't want my armpits to be irritated. Um, since I do scrub them a lot and they, that can lead to them being more sensitive. Oh my gosh, it's getting everywhere. No, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh my gosh, it's getting, yo, this stuff is getting on my nerves already. All right, so it's actually not as thick as it was supposed to be, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more baking soda and I already added some more root powder because it's supposed to be more like thick, like a deodorant. I might have added too much coconut oil, but that's exactly what, what the recipe called for. All right, you guys, so I actually mixed it up and it's a little bit more creamy than I thought it was supposed to be. So a lot, I heard a lot of people saying that, you, that you're supposed to go ahead and freeze it. Um, a lot of people that melt the coconut oil first, then they freeze it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this container and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the freezer for a little while and then I'll go ahead and apply it when it's time for me to go ahead and start getting ready. But I did go ahead and add some essential oil this frankincense one because it was honestly my favorite out of them all i had to think like deodorant wise i'm gonna be real with you baby you really do not have to put it in the freezer it's just fine the creamy way i definitely prefer it that way because it's way easier to apply i got some alcohol so i'm gonna go ahead and spray this in here and then i'm gonna go ahead and wipe it out with a paper towel because i just want it to be more like sterilized or whatever because i don't know like that's been in the factory and everything and so you got to be careful all right so now that that is done i'm going to go ahead and start adding it in there all right now i got the cap on there and i'm about to go ahead and put it in the freezer for a little while and then i'll go ahead and use it tonight tonight i can't why do i keep doing this to myself 
and see how it works. I have another appointment at 2 and it is 10.15 but I'm about to go ahead and like wash all this stuff up and clean up this mess that I just made. And I'm going to go ahead and talk to y'all when it's time for me to get ready to go to my nail appointment. Alright guys, so you girls got out of the shower. I got to start getting ready. It is currently 11.50 going on 12 and my appointment is at 2 so I should take my little time or whatever because I still have like an hour and a half. So basically all I have to do is just like get myself lotioned up, perfume, hair, um, I'm gonna try out this deodorant, so I just took it out of the freezer, and it's actually solid, so super cool, right? No. So if you guys watched my Amazon shopping video, my Amazon haul, I'm trying to figure out which one it was. I believe it was the first video that I did. I picked up this baby powder lotion, and I have been loving it, as you guys can see. Um, it's very moisturizing. I am super obsessed with it, and I have been using it daily. It makes you smell so good. So this has been my little daily lotion, and usually I get tired of lotions super fast. But um, this one has been amazing and I have been super obsessed with it. But basically, I gotta go ahead and put some perfume on and then I gotta start doing my hair. This stuff just makes you smell super fresh and clean, like baby powder, just smelling so good. But I'm just gonna keep my hair very simple today. Honestly, I would just leave it up in this bun, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in. You know, y'all know that bun that I usually do where I slick it back? Also, when I go ahead and put this deodorant on, I have been like growing on my arm hair a little bit. I just wanna see um, how it feels to like not shave for a while. Since I'm going in for laser hair removal, I might as well let it grow out for the one time and see how it feels because that's not gonna be anymore once I get all my sessions done. I'm just gonna do the famous bun that I usually do or ponytail. Sometimes it's ponytail, sometimes it's a bun where I just like slick my hair back and I part it in the middle and then just slick it really good. But I'm gonna show you guys what I use to achieve that little look or whatever. Also, if you're wondering where that, where I got this towel from, it's like a marble towel and it just like sticks because it has Velcro and I got it from Walmart. So sometimes it's like different, but I always use this Aussie Mega Hair Spray for the scent and also just for like some extra hold. I got my brush and I got my toothbrush and then I have my gel. My favorite gel to do my hair with is this Main Choice Crystal Orchid Biotin Infused Styling Gel. It smells very good and it also has biotin so it does promote hair growth. Sometimes it's different but the first thing that I like to do is put this Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie in my hair. But because like I'm have to use my hands for my camera and everything and it gets all over my hand and underneath my nails, I'm not going to use this today but it always works the best. But instead of that, I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. Um, it is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. Um, and it's actually very thick as well. But the reason why that smoothie works very good is because how thick it is. Um, so it helps the hair to stay down. Like it helps with the hold. But I'm just going to go ahead and use this Curl and Style Milk. And then, oh crap, what am I doing? I haven't even sectioned my hair yet. You're going too fast, Chloe. Calm it down. So with this product in my hair, I guess I'll try to go ahead and part it down the middle. Now my parts are always very bad. Like I never part it right. Look, that's just gonna have to be how it is. That's just gonna have to be how it's gonna do, how it's gonna be, how it's just gonna be. Because I honestly don't really care about perfection. I mean, every time I try to care about perfection, I end up getting frustrated. And it's just not worth getting frustrated about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over my scalp. And I don't wet it with like any like water or like hair product because the hold won't be as good like if you water it down. But after I get done doing that, I'm about to go ahead and put in this gel. Now, I hate that I have to, like, use my fingers to scoop it out. So, like, I, I just be using the comb. And I just kind of, like, get it out like that. And then just put it on my hand. This stuff smells super good. Ooh, I don't know how to really explain it. I've had, It kind of has an apple fruity smell to it. And, like, refreshing country apple kind of smell. I never have hairy armpits. Like, I just don't let them get that way. Because I just, personally, I don't like it. But I'm just experimenting. Because body hair is normal. And the fact that... Females have to feel like they're gross or they're unhygienic if they don't shave, that's like sick. Like, cool, then same thing goes for the guys then. You know what I mean? Nowadays, everything is just screwed up. Like, that's not how it used to be back in the day because it's such a normal thing. It wouldn't be there if it wasn't normal, but obviously, like, you have your preference. Like, I personally do like to shave my armpits, but it's, it's up to you. Like, what you want to do, you're not nasty if you don't. And I'm glad that I am just now starting to, like, be aware and, like, educated on these things because I was one of those girls that used to think it was unhygienic to, like, not shave, but it's totally not unhygienic. And when you have, like, your hairy armpits and, like, somebody has something to say about it, um, it teaches you about that person. Like, oh, you, that's what you care about? So you're basically about appearance. You're basically just about looks. I don't want you, baby. But yeah, I just like brush it all back. But basically what I do is I dip this toothbrush. This toothbrush is going to look dirty. It is what it is. I honestly do not like any other toothbrushes. I have worked this one in, so it worked so good for me. But I basically gel this down, gel it flat, this part, so it looks nice. And then I'll start doing these little hairs over here. Now to 
finish off the ponytail, I'm going to go in with this Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. This is what it looks like. Super fire. And it's actually almost gone because I use it all the time to refresh my curls like I'm about to do right now. And you basically just go over your curls to just refresh them and make them not frizzy anymore. And this stuff is also moisturizing, smells good, and it's just great for curly hair. A lot of mousses have like mad alcohols in them and they're just not good for curly hair. Um, but yeah, this stuff is pretty fire and I just put it throughout my curls to refresh them and make it look like I just washed my hair or something, you know, because it gets frizzy. Alright, so I'm about to go ahead and start getting dressed, but I just want to go ahead and put a little bit of this perfume on. I've literally only worn it once, or was it twice? Um, and it is the Giorgio Armani My Way. And the reason why I've only worn it like once or twice is because like the scent is a little bit too sweet for me. Um, and I kind of got tired of it very fast. Like even the day, the first time that I that I wore it, it was kind of like getting tiring. So yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that on. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on my deodorant when I put on my shirt. I'm literally just going to go ahead and wear the same shirt that I wore yesterday. Okay, so basically I'm wearing like a cheap little jogging outfit that I just bought from, ooh, Walmart. I got the, the uh, hoodie right here, but I had to put on my deodorant first. And then I have the matching pants navy blue but this is what it's looking like y'all can't even really see okay so i got some of it out and i'm just gonna go ahead and like apply it to my underarms it smells really good it has that frankincense uh franken method i don't even know what the heck but it smells really nice it's so hard right now that it's actually kind of making me mad because it still needs to melt i'm gonna go ahead and apply more later on i do have a good amount on right now though but not enough i feel like because i used to i usually apply a lot of deodorant so I'm going to go ahead and put the rest on later on when it's like morally melted right before I head to church. I love these outfits, y'all. I get them from Walmart. The regular little sweatpants, the regular little hoodie. Pretty basic, but it's really cute to me. Um, so I really like it. It's just, you know, all fully covered up and it's cold outside. So it's also very perfect. And then I'm trying to figure out what earrings I should wear. If I should just wear like the regular silver ones like I always do. They always tell you, you have to match your jewelry. Like if you don't have silver on silver and gold on gold, then you just look crazy. Baby, I don't care. I'm going to wear what I want. I'm just playing. That was a little aggressive. I'm just going to go ahead and put these in. Um, I got them off of Amazon. They are sterling silver because my other ones were turning... Well, actually, my other ones was turning, was turning colors and I had spent good money on those. And it was also sterling silver. But they didn't start changing, changing colors for like a year or so later. So I'm not really mad about it. I needed a new pair anyway. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is what I'll be doing. Oh, crap. I got the camera so it's harder for me. But I'll be just pushing the top box back and then bringing this box out, pushing it back. Oh my gosh, it's about to fall on me because I got this dang camera. No, no sir. No sir. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, oh. Put your butt back there right now. I'm about to sit in here and play with our dang box. Okay. I've had these for about two years now and these would honestly go super cute with this outfit. My room is a mess. I need to clean it. But it gets like that every single day. These would be cute with this outfit. It, they really would. So I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and wear those. I need to go ahead and fill up my gallon water bottle because if I don't have my water, then I feel like an idiot. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, so I got these in the mail yesterday. I got the triple chlorophyll pills because I'm not trying to drink chlorophyll water. So I just went ahead and got these pills. And they're supposed to be like an inner body, body deodorizer, anti-aging, helps with acne, helps with like your energy, um, like a caffeine would. So I need to go ahead and take all of these. Y'all know I'll be staying up on my little vitamins probiotics whatever it is also i want to go ahead and suggest these get these off of amazon these intimate uh, area ingrown hair 10 percent ultra relief concentrate these work very very good for a aftershave so for your downstairs area if you deal with like really bad razor bumps definitely go ahead and try that out and then just get you a little men's razor it's fire the one i use is this one the gillette pro glide okay so low-key what i've been doing lately is if i don't really like a body spray that much i will go ahead and i will use it as a room spray or like a bathroom spray because like i don't want to waste it and just have it sitting there and um love spell i'm kind of over the whole entire thing and this is honestly almost gone because i've been using using it for a room spray and also like a bathroom spray and then I'll go ahead and finish this one out with the same the same exact way. So I just need to make more space for more body sprays and stuff and also make sure that I'm using them. So I actually, yeah, my mama got my brothers up cleaning. They better do something. She got them up and doing something. Yeah, I did that done like straightening up my, my room a little bit. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and like spray this everywhere. I already sprayed my bed, so I don't need to do that. But yeah, I just use it as like a little room spray. Um... And just make my room smell good or whatever make it smell fresh because i don't mind it in my room i just do not like it as a like on my body or whatever because i just feel like it smells way too common like it just this is such a common scent and i feel like everybody smells like it and i don't want to smell like it but i want to go ahead and wear these glasses today because these glasses are actually pretty darn cute with this crap i don't want to mess up my hair with this outfit obviously i will have my timberlands on in a minute because i'm actually about to head out 
Do not mind that trash bag back there. Your girl needs to go ahead and get it filled up and then I'll go ahead and take it out. Well, not me. I'm gonna have my brothers take it out. I don't take out trash. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? I just got home. I just got home. And I'm about to eat some food before I go to you service. Ooh. Y'all, look at what I got. So I went to the next line. And the people that own the nail salon that I go to also own this restaurant. So I decided to go ahead and go to the restaurant. I'll show y'all my nails in a minute because it's not trying to focus. But anyway, y'all, I'm super excited. Your girl is hungry. I haven't ate all day. Because I'm not really like... Sometimes I want food first thing when I wake up. Sometimes I don't want food till it's like nighttime. Sometimes I want food all day. But, mmm. Today was a nighttime day, so. I just got some vegetable fried rice. Some General Souls chicken, broccoli, and a chicken egg roll. Fire. They're like Tupperware, like this little foam tray thing is like super cheap. Like it's literally bending in all directions. Okay, so what is 5.07? I'm about to take off at 6.30. Be at church by 7. Probably gonna stay till like 11.30 at night. That usually happens. Sometimes if it's like not as lit, then we'll end it off around 10.30. Sometimes if it gets extra lit, then we'll be done by 11.30 and then up for church. And then be at church by 11. So yeah, I don't know how it's gonna go tonight. Can't say, can't predict, but... This food is pretty fire. Mm -hmm. I never eat Chinese food, so when I do eat it, it's mad good. Say even the broccoli is good. I think I've only had like shrimp fried egg, ro shrimp egg rolls, but this is like a chicken one. I don't think I've ever tried a chicken egg roll, but I just love egg rolls. Okay, never had that before, but it's good. Pretty darn fire. The drum hot. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Obviously, I wore that perfume that I was showing y'all, that My Way perfume. And then I mixed it in with some Miss Dior Rose and Roses. Because Miss Dior Rose and Roses is fire. I'm telling y'all right now. Definitely one of my strongest perfumes. I can't say what I'm going to talk to y'all next because, I don't know. I might talk to y'all tomorrow. Most likely because I'm not... Probably gonna get back to 11.30 at night. And I'm not gonna vlog at service because like, I like to respect people and I respect their their space and respect their, their personal, you know. So I'm not about to be recording people and just recording in the place and like ignoring people to record. I just feel like it's very rude. I try to be very considerate when I'm recording. So y'all see me not recording in certain places like nail salons and stuff like that anymore at least. Unless the folks are like mad cool. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to y'all later. I don't know when later is. Most likely tomorrow because I don't really know. Okay, you guys, so it was actually the very next night. Um, yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna end up filming that same night, like yesterday night. I knew I just wasn't gonna do it because I was gonna get home mad late and then I wasn't gonna be able to go to sleep. Like, I didn't end up going to sleep till like one o'clock. Um, so yeah, and then I had to get up for church this morning. Um, and I went to church or whatever, came back, got some editing done, I had to upload. My nephew came over, so it's just been more of like a laid back, kind of laid back because editing takes hours and hours and hours. Anyway, so yeah, it is nighttime and I was actually not even going to go ahead and film. But I did want to go ahead and make sure that, that I showed you guys my nails. They're not really trying to show too good. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert an image right here on the screen to go ahead and show you all a little bit better. Because look, it's way simple when I already have a picture of them when I can just go ahead and put it up on the screen. I just love the shape. I love everything about them. I don't like when acrylics are like too pointy, you know what I mean? So I had her, I be telling my girl like, I don't want them too acrylic, square acrylic, you know what I mean? So yeah, I like how she did them. They're beautiful. I love them. Anyway, so your girl's going to go ahead and film this on camera. Like me organizing this like little cabinet space down here. But I ended up just doing it out of nowhere just now. Um, and so I guess I'll just go ahead and show you guys that. And then I also went ahead and organized this bin over here. I found like these big like jumbo pads underneath my counter. And I knew that I would have way more space if I took those and put them in here. And then kind of like organize this. Here's my natural deodorant when i tell y'all oh i gotta talk about this as well first of all this stuff is popping like when i tell y'all i honestly feel like okay i was not expecting it to work immediately like i honestly thought that i was going to still have like an odor because it is a natural deodorant switching over to a natural deodorant your armpits still have to detox but i'm gonna tell y'all this right now no odor like when i tell you guys you know how like a deodorant can work really good but then the deodorant smell ends up mixing in with like your bo you know what i mean and it's not like stinky but it, like i hate i hate when people say stinky why did i even say it like that but it mixes in with the deodorant you guys know what i mean with this you just don't smell like anything like it does have essential oil but it's not really that it's not really that strong so basically you just don't smell like anything like nothing at all you just don't have any odor any smell any anything and i like that 
love that right there super obsessed with that but i am going to go ahead and show y'all what my you know underneath this little cabinet is looking like so i have a lot of stuff down here so please do not judge me i got all types of cleaning products in here all right so over here i have this little cup and i honestly i used to use this for my niece's hair but now y'all can kind of see my nails um but basically i used to use this for my niece's hair or whatever and then when she went back home i started using it for cleaning so i basically just have like a little scrub brush and a sponge in there for cleaning um i have my little glass cleaner my dawn dish soap all of my flushable wipes are down here extra tissue paper i'm not gonna go through everything but like a bunch of different cleaning products like my Microband, Mr. Clean, Bleach, Scrubbing Bubbles, Lysol, Febreze back there. All types of stuff y'all already know. But I have to keep stacked up on my flushable wipes because these are fire. Gotta have that to keep your behind fresh. I do not know what I was doing when I didn't have these. Genuinely. Now here, I finally found some dang scrunchies. I have been going without scrunchies for a while. I got different mouthwashes down here. My Therabreath, some Listerine. Mini trash bags for my trash in here. And then I got these little uh, ones off of Amazon. They're like real thin, like little trash bags for my bathroom or whatever. All my different razor refills because I have three different razors that I go through. Actually, four. More glass cleaner. Fabuloso, my favorite one. I need to go back to Dollar Tree and get it. Um, carpet cleaner. More Unstoppables for Breeze. Gloves. Cotton pads. You know, all types of stuff in here. I'm telling y'all, one of my favorite cleansers. All types of stuff down here, but it's actually organized. This is organized to me because if y'all would have seen it before, it was actually, like, scary. Like, I couldn't even believe it. I also got this organized. I'm telling y'all, your girl is trying something different. Okay, so I've been seeing a lot of people talk about using this um, glycolic acid toner for their underarms. And I guess it helps to also prevent BO and also just, like, help with, like, lightening your armpits and stuff like that. So I am going to go ahead and try that uh, tomorrow. I just put it off of my vanity to go ahead and bring it over here to see how that's going to work. And I'm really, really, really excited. But this stuff is really good so it does not clog your drains because i usually use coconut oil to go ahead and shave my nauseous area because i do not trust things down there because it just does not does not work but this i got at target they have it in like the shaving and waxing sh section and this right here is so fire really works good for shaving your nauseous area but if you do not feel like leaving the house because you are in quarantine or something they have this on amazon this is also mad fire uh that's what it's called right there i just do not like the name but this stuff is mad fire y'all when i tell you it is so good and then i go in with this aftershave and then whatever i'm going to moisturize with sometimes i moisturize with um coconut oil or vitamin e or like a vaseline or aquaphor i honestly don't really have a favorite but honestly this actually just tried it yesterday this honestly is kind of topping them all it has been really 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 good you can get that at walmart you can get that off of amazon i definitely should have showed you my outfit earlier because i was looking kind of always for church or whatever but it is what it is honestly i just i was like drained like because i got no sleep and then I had to get up and get ready or whatever and get to church and then i had editing and that can like be mentally draining but you know what it is what it is i'm just glad that i got my nails done because your girl needed them done anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and end off this video y'all please make sure you're drinking your water please make sure you're taking like some type of probiotics i've been taking them chlorophyll pills like i told y'all for like the last two days genuinely i'm actually not gonna speak on it but i do feel like it's doing something like genuinely anyway so sis i need to go ahead and end off this video make sure that you're drinking your water make sure you're staying up with yourself self-care self-love okay probiotics vitamins whatever is going to benefit you sis do what you gotta do but it's most definitely time for your girl to go ahead and head up out of here like i don't want to drag this video on for days and days and days and days and days because sometimes i catch myself doing that and i'm like sis why not just go ahead and end it off and start a new video or something like you ain't got to do all of that. But I love you, sis. And it's time for your girl to go ahead and head up out of here. God bless you in Jesus' name.